For folks who don't who haven't read your books, don't know anything about information theory, why does information theory suggest that there must be some sort of designer? Obviously, people like Dawkins who suggest that that evolution is the universal acid. They, they, they say that these things can arise by themselves. They would also make the suggestion that the information in DNA is not necessarily directed, that it only seems directed to us because we're here to actually look at the direction in which it moves. It could theoretically be random. What does information theory have to say well, about this Well, it's, it's actually helpful first to go back to the molecular biological revolution of the 1950s. Watson and Crick discover in 1953, they elucidate rather, the structure of the DNA molecule. They discover it's got this beautiful helix structure. They got the, there's these four chemical subunits that run along the interior of the helix called bases or nucleotide bases. In 1957, 1958, Crick, who was interestingly a code breaker in World War II, posits what's known as the sequence hypothesis, which is just a, a breakthrough moment in the history of biology, where he realizes that the nucleotide bases on the inside of the double helix are functioning like alphabetic characters in a written uh, language, or what we now think of as like the, the zeros and ones in a section of software code, which is to say it's not the physical or chemical properties of those bases that is important to their function, but rather it's their sequential arrangement in, a, in accord with an independent code, which was later elucidated and we now call the genetic code.